So here's my mid-side rig. It's made up of a Ryko SC08 and BD10 inside of a Ryko Cyclone blimp. If you want to hear recordings from this rig, click on screen somewhere here. I'll link it down in the description as well. I did a ASMR video where I just have field recordings and some sound effects recordings with this setup. So if you want to check that one out, click somewhere on screen. If you're new to mid-side recordings, here's a quick explanation. Mid-side or MS is a microphone technique made up of two microphones to create a stereo signal. The mid microphone, usually a cardioid or hypercardioid, faces the center of the sound source, while the figure of eight microphone is rotated 90 degrees off axis from the sound source. When you combine them and decode them, they create a lovely stereo signal, which has a focus center and a wide stereo image. So now we're gonna set up the mid side rig with the Zoom F6. I've got two methods to show you. The first one is the one I prefer, but I thought I'd just show you the second one as well, just in case you wanna do that. So. For the first method, and for the second method, you're gonna to wanna to plug in your cable into the rig, like so. Then get the other end. Get the mid microphone, which in my case is this black XLR cable. Plug it into channel one. And then the side microphone, which is red in my case, plug it into channel two, like that. Then we'll just activate channels one and two by twisting the faders. The next step is going into the menu. So we'll click the menu button, which is the three lines. Then we'll go down to output, click on that, and then click on headphone out. And then you'll have to select routing. So mine is blank at the moment. And if you wanna reset it, just go down to clear and then click clear, and then it'll reset all the routing. Then on channels one and two, you'll want to scroll till you see MS highlighted underneath it. Then you'll click on that and it'll go blue and you'll see that channels one and two are selected with MS underneath. This will make you monitor channels one and two as a decoded MS recording and it won't decode the actual file. Thing to note also is that fader one will adjust your mid level, so the mid microphone, and fader two will adjust the side level, so the stereo width. I basically play around with fader two to expand or make the stereo width narrower. This method basically means that when you bring your recorded file into an editing software, in my case Cubase, you will have to use a mid-side decoder to hear the file as a proper stereo image. For this, I use a free decoder called MSED or MSED, I personally prefer this method because it gives me the most flexibility. If I want to increase or decrease the stereo image, I can do that in the editing software. And if I recorded something slightly off center, I can put it back in center using the mid side decoder. The second method uh, decodes the file and leaves you with a recording that is permanently decoded. That's why I don't really use it, but it's worth showing you anyway. So, first of all, go to the headphone routing and reset it all. So I just click clear and I'll click one and two as the headphone out for that one. So same again with the mid mic plugged into channel one and the side mic plugged into channel two. You'll go into your menu, which is the three lines, then go down to input, click input, then onto link settings, and then onto input link. And you'll have to scroll across until you see channels one and two, and then click on MS. Now this will light up blue on the recorder. Now the input for channels one and two are linked and are being decoded as an MS recording, a mid side recording. So the same as the other method, when you increase channel one, it will increase the mid microphone and channel two will increase the side microphone, so make it sound wider. 
With this method, when you bring this recording into editing software, there'll be no need to use a decoder because the Zoom F6 has already decoded it for you. It will sound like a normal stereo file. Here on Cubase, you can see the two separate recordings. Recording one is the first method and recording two is the second method. Recording one needs a decoder, whereas recording two doesn't because the Zoom F6 already decoded it. What does this all mean for your recordings? Well, it's less work to use the second method because it skips having to decode the file in the edit stage. However, if you want to tweak the stereo width, say it was set up too narrow or the source was slightly off center, it's way easier to change that in the first method with some tweaking in a decoder like MSED or MSED. That about wraps things up. It was a short and sweet video but I thought I'd show you how I set up this mid-side rig with my Zoom F6 down here, because I've had a couple of you ask questions on how I do it. And at first I was a little bit confused on how to properly set it up with the output routing or using the input routing. But when I read the manual, it made it a lot easier. So RTFM, read the in manual, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any more questions or suggestions on this setup, I'm all ears. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, drop them in the comment section below. And as always, peace out, big loves in a bit.